Hi, I'm Shania Twain, and I'm gonna answer some trivia questions about myself. Let's see how I do. Where was I born? Windsor, Ontario, Canada. If I wasn't a singer, what would I have pursued? I would have uh, either been a veterinarian or an architect. At what age did I become Shania? <laughs> That's a good question. I, oh, I think I was 23. I could not have been more than 26. Right in that middle, 24. <laughs> I was 24. What instrument did I play in high school? Trumpet. Follow question, can you still play the trumpet? I cannot still play the trumpet. <laughs> And there's no time. It's too late for me now. I don't, I don't know if I could ever get back into it. Besides, you can't wear lipstick when you play the trumpet. <laughs> How many Grammys do I have? I think I have five. Oh, how many award wins do I have? 25? Oh gosh, a lot more. Mm, okay. Uh, 50, uh, 75. According to our records, you have 215. Oh! Okay, we would have been here a long time, me trying to get that right. Oh no, that's pretty good, 215, I'm proud of myself. Okay, that's pretty cool. Where are they? Because <laughs> they're not in my on my shelves. <laughs> they're probably in boxes, but I should uh, be more respectful of my, of my awards, my wins. But you fans are my wins. What color boots was I wearing at Coachella 2022 on stage with Harry Styles? <gasps> Easy. I remember every second of that whole experience. I, w I was wearing white pat faux patent boots. Platform. My favorite memory from the performance was really the connection on stage with Harry. I was really surprised how just, I felt like we had done that so many times before together. Well, we were already friends, but we'd never been in that situation together before. And it was really, just felt very natural. That that was very special. So you know, Harry and I were once once I was uh, it was clear that I was able to make the performance at Coachella. I said, so what are you gonna wear? Because I I'd like to get the vibe or at least be in the vibe. And he said, well, actually, I'm in a fitting right now and I don't know yet. I'm just trying some stuff on. So then we never touched on the subject again. I picked my outfit, and when I showed up on stage, it had looked like we were coordinated you know like so what are you wearing yeah I'm wearing this okay but no I didn't have any idea so that was a really wonderful surprise about the whole night well I mean everybody was so wild and is wild about Harry Styles so that's no surprise but I think the fact that he has been very open about you know being a fan of my music I'm one of his mentors and that sort of thing so it all just really came together when I showed up as a surprise to perform with him and it was just one of those magical moments that the fans grabbed onto and, and really embraced. Which sitcoms have featured my music? Mmm. Friends, Broad City, Big Bang Theory. And then I'm probably missing one more too. Gilmore Girls. Oh, Gilmore Girls. That one I knew and I just didn't, it didn't come to mind. I know them all actually, but they're, I'm drawing blanks. I'm obviously not watching very much TV with songs of mine in it. No, actually I do. I've, I've seen several movies with my song in it. Sometimes it would just pop up in there and be a very pleasant surprise. It's always fun. It's always a fun moment to hear my songs uh, when I'm watching TV. In the first edition of the Divas concert in 1998, who did I sing with? Oh, well I, I sang with the whole cast, Carol King, and Aretha Franklin, Mariah Carey, Celine Dion, and Gloria Estefan. That was a very memorable moment for me. One of my favorite memories of that night was in the bus, uh, rehearsing acoustically together. That was just a very intimate, nice moment. And it sort of broke the ice as well because I, I had never met a lot of the women prior. So it was a good icebreaker and just a very friendly experience that uh, was not diva-like at all, <laughs> which was awesome. What year did I publish my memoir from this moment on? That was 2011. Which look took five hours of fitting to perfect? Ooh, 
spy outfits have taken many, many, each one of them has taken many, many, many hours. Five hours to perfect. I'm out of here. Yeah, so it's the bell-bottom pants on the back. Because I did wear bell-bottom pants in a lot of things, but that particular one, yeah, that was long. That was a, a long, it was a very exact contour fit. So that was, that was, that was a pretty long one. What was I wearing for the That Don't Impress Me Much music video? I'd have to draw a huge blank not to get this one right. I was wearing the leopard print, stretch velvet, head to toe, Mark Bauer outfit. Where was this look? I can't believe this look. Oh, anyway, I'm just, I can't get over the look. I'm trying to get over the look. Anyway, because these are like from my own closet, the ripped jeans, the high waist and the denim vest. And I cut the crop shirt with my own scissors. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it became one of my looks. Uh, this would have been, I know who it is. It's not Arsenio Hall. Okay, come on, he loves cars. Big car collection. Uh, very funny, very fun loving. Loves to wear denim shirts. <laughs> I just, his name's not coming to me. Why help? <gasps> Jay Leno. Of course, I love Jay Leno. Okay. Never update that outfit for today. If I were to update that outfit today, I would bling it out. It would have much more, it would be bejeweled. It's just a little drab the way it was at the time, but um, I would bejewel it. That, that's it. And where was this look? One of my favorite things to wear, so comfortable. This was Grammy night, I believe. The white the stretch here? dress. Oh. 1999? Ah. Yeah, that was a fabulous night for me. Ah, and that dress is in the Grammy Museum, which is a great honor. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.